So here we are today, um, making up a mould in silicon for a fairy door which I made from clay in a previous video. There it is there, on a piece of foam core or foam board. Uh, that's what we're going to use to house our mould for the silicon to be poured into. So that's our base there. Uh, the foam core is pretty much made up of uh, two pieces of paper or card uh, with foam in the middle or sandwiched between the two pieces of card or paper. So there I am measuring out some strips which I'll cut which will be the sides of our mould or mould template. So I was using a square there just to make sure the angles are straight and so they match up um, nice and tightly. So there I am just cutting with a knife, a craft knife, and a steel ruler. So, like I say, that'll house our mould and we'll have a base made of the foam core also. So there's a four pieces for the four sides, so it'll be a square mould. And there's our piece, the fairy door, made from monster clay, which is an oil-based clay, and quite fun and handy to use and sculpt. So I highly recommend that. So I just situate in the board with obviously the fairy door and now I'm just seeing where I'm going to put the walls of the uh, house of the mold or the template. I've got a hot glue gun there so I'm going to stick down the walls uh, with a hot glue gun and I want to make that watertight so that uh, no silicon will seep through any of the edges uh, when we get round to pouring the mould. So I do a kind of belt and braces uh, job here, uh, seal it on the outside. First of all here I'm just sticking the the walls in place, I'm just putting a few dots of glue so it will hold it in place and then we'll go over the uh, gaps which, which are very tight. So there's, uh, we're just basically making it waterproof and, and sealing, sealing the outside. And then once I've sealed the outside, made sure that's secure, I uh, will take the, the ferry door or model out of the housing and we'll seal the inside as well. So like I said, we'll do a belt and braces job and um, sort of double insurance. So there I'm taking the ferry door out of the housing and I'll and there I am sealing in the inside of that housing. And then we can place back the ferry door, place that inside, uh, get it as central as possible. And now we're ready for mixing up the silicon. Uh, by the way, I put a, I put a, a materials video up just recently uh, talking about silicon, so you can have a look at that to see how we use it. So there's the tub of the base, the base silicon. So we we'll measure that out. That's a hundred, sorry, a one kilogram container, and uh, I can only squeeze out about 800 grams if you can see on the scales. As uh, the other 200 grams didn't want to come out, so I needed to pour the container upside down. There's the catalyst, which is a red catalyst. So there's, uh, that catalyst let, will, will allow us to work within a 40 to 60 minute time frame, which is plenty. So I'm just uh, putting the catalyst in with the base and we'll mix this together. So that's 10 to one, uh, 10 base and to one catalyst. So I add 800 grams of the base silicon to 80 grams of the catalyst. I actually needed to mix up a bit more silicon. Um, probably in this job, I probably needed closer on to two kilograms of uh, silicon to make this solid poured mold. But I had a, a few dregs left in the bottom of some other um, containers, so uh, that. Um, did the job. So there I am pouring in the silicon after mixing it well to get that pink uniform colour 
and I'm carefully pouring that into the mold. As you can see, I'm like concentrating on one corner and I'm pouring quite high. So you get a stream which disperses any unwanted air bubbles. So there I am just going to mix up a couple more batches from the dregs, but you don't need to do that if you get your measurements right in the first place. So maybe 1.5 kilograms would have done that job in one go. So there we are, so he waits for the night. And this is the next day. Uh, now I'm demolding. So just take that foam core off um, and carefully peel that away from the silicon mold along with the uh, gone off um, hot glue from the hot glue gun. And I'll carefully remove the mold and take the model from outside from, sorry, from inside of the uh, mould. So I'm careful, I'm just tidying up a few pieces there with a scalpel, taking some flashing away. And now we'll carefully remove the model. I was hoping to get it out in one piece, but um, it did come apart in parts, but that's, that's no problem. Because I'll use the monster clay again, melt it down and use that again for uh, another project. So I'm just tidying up, getting all the bits and pieces out of the, the mould, using the scalpel to tidy up the edges and pulling out any flashing and uh, that's ready for casting. So I mixed up a uh, tub of plaster of Paris just to test out the mold. So I thought I'd stick this in a video just to see, just to show everybody how it'll come out. So uh, there we are with the plaster of Paris poured into the mold. And I waited about an hour or two before demolding this first test cast and it came out pretty well um, so can't grumble about that and happy with the overall cast which came out of the poured silicon mold so there we are I'll do further reproductions in resin and concrete and hopefully get uh, those done soon so that's a poured silicon mold and job done so thank you for watching and over and out for now.